Uh, it's a tough challenge for us, isn't it? They haven't lost all season, but I'm very optimist. I'm a very optimistic person, and at some point this season they lose. So why can't it be this weekend? You know, we we got our own challenges in house, um, but fundamentally we're a tough group of people going to a tough place. So it's something I'm excited for. Well, look, I, I can only say I don't know too much information. I know what's out there, and but I can only say what I see. And in house, it was tough Monday, Tuesday. You know, we had extremely group of flat players, but again, like I say, for this playing group, they're unbelievable. The resilience they've shown now to really prepare the end of the week's been outstanding. And I've been around lots of teams, lots of environments, and it was, it, it was difficult for them to start of the week. But uh, again, I can't speak highly enough for them how they've, how they've turned this week, week around and how excited we are to go out there. It's just everything. I, I was fortunate enough, I've met Stuart Lancaster and Cullen uh, once upon a time and I was able to dive into how the relationship works because I do think it's a great model having our head coach on grass, having a guy who, who deals with a lot of this stuff going forward and, and also the big strategy planning for the region going forward, how that looks. And, and you, you know what a player's like as well, if there's one voice all the time, it can become a bit of white noise, so it's important that my voice is the most important voice in the room on the areas that need addressing daily and supporting yourself the right people but from a game point of view they're island aren't they everything they do is is understood it's in detail um, their speed of ball is through the roof that'll be a big challenge for us this week we can get game line we can slow we can take game line off them potentially but if you don't stop the speed of ball they uh it's going to front foot anyway like I said, I can only say what I've seen this week. Um, I did see an extremely group of arguably like demotivated people because of all the stress they've been put through and, and where the game and where they're at. But at the start of the week, but again, they're a resilient bunch. I can't help but love working with them, and they've turned it round. We, we had a fantastic end of the session Tuesday. We had a great day today, um, and we're looking forward to the weekend. You know, it's, it's not high. It's going to be tough. It's Leinster away and. Things do play on people's minds and um, we've got our own challenges but we, we, I'm sure we'll represent ourselves the best we can. Yeah, Ross and Angus back in a minute. We're a bit banged up, I'll be honest. Um, we still haven't really recovered from that block of games we had. But by the next game going forward, we'll, we'll be much better. But what I would say is I'm excited to see this group of players go this weekend. You know, if you could pick the toughest team we could put on paper, it wouldn't be far off that this week, and that's what excites me. Uh, just yeah, like just loads of niggles now, like George Knott, Niggly, Sean Long's the Niggly. So they touch and go, they train in, but they're not. We don't know if they're going to get through tomorrow to get into the team. You know, Joe Davis is still struggling post his last concussion. Um, as you can see, they're all in a certain area. So I've made sure we've trained at a certain intensity, and you know, it's an opportunity, another little break for me to put a bit more of my stamp on the environment and the standards I like to set. And you know, we do make sure we have a good time, and sometimes you go on a barometer of a scale and how away we fit. But it's important we understand that we're rugby players. We want to win games, and to do that, we've got to be quite um, hard on ourselves on detail. And, and I managed to drop some of that stuff in. Have we lost a player or two along the way because we've pushed it? We have, but again. You've got to make sure we're training at intensity that allows us to compete in these games because the teams around us aren't getting any weaker. Now look, personally, it's been a bit of a roller coaster. Um, sometimes you think, oh, it's good, we're going to go in and talk fully about rugby, but it seems a lot of things cloud that at the moment and it's been tough. But again, as long as I can look my players in the eye, look myself in the eye and be as honest as I can, I can walk around with my head out high. And, and that's how I live my life and that's what I continue to do. I'm I'm very transparent with the players. I haven't sugarcoated anything on where the game's actually at financially in Wales. We've been, you know, it's not nice to hear, but we've also been open and honest, and we've offered a lot of verbal contracts. Players know their value here if they choose to stay. And you know, I do I do know uh, one stress on players is injury. You know, they're playing now without contracts, and I've told them, you know, I, we're on we'll honour that. Now they've had the verbal contract. Whatever goes on from here on, you've had the contract agreement, you've had uh, verbal offer, you know where you sit salary-wise, and whatever happens from now, the people who've been offered them, we will honour it, because that's the right thing to do.